Look, I, I, what, what a goal by Havertz. But when I saw it, I just want to say, how many times does Saka do this for Arsenal? He did it late against Chelsea with that cross to the back post to uh, Trozard a few weeks ago. He's done it again. What a player. What an inspirational player as well. Big shout out to him. Um, did you know as well that Mikel Arteta has won more Premier League matches during his first 200 games in charge than any other Arsenal manager, including Arsene Wenger and George Graham? And yet I still feel that amongst some Arsenal fans and maybe into the wider media, there is this feeling that maybe Arteta's not the right man. He quite clearly is. I, I, I think I was looking at the live chat on YouTube in the break there. Arsenal are in a title race. They were in one last year. They fell away. They were a bit inexperienced. They're definitely in one. I've seen a few people saying, oh, I'm not convinced by Arsenal. They're not playing that well. I don't think they're playing that well. They started off last season with 43 points from 48. They went off like a rocket. Maybe this season Arteta's realised that. Maybe he's brought players in to gradually build towards the second half of the season, which is what Manchester City do. They are a top of the league uh, at the end of November. Uh, they're not playing the best, but they're grinding out results. Winning when you're not playing well is exactly what you do in a title race. I've seen plenty of them under Sir Alex Ferguson and Arsenal might, might just be timing this to perfection. Uh, let's hear from an Arsenal fan there. We've got Victor. Uh, what did you think about today and what's your general thoughts on Arsenal, Victor? Yeah, Arsenal have been playing all right. We've been all right. We've been good this season. We've, we've, changed, we've changed the way we play. We're not as expansive. Mm. We're not as expansive. Um anymore. We're more we're more controlled. Remind me of like the old man you the old man you would would where we'd win a game when we haven't played good. I grew up hating Man United because you never thought the players were actually that good. But they'd always seem to win and we've got we've got we've got habits now and a lot of the media are bashing habits for no reason. He's got the same exact he's got better statistics in the league than Sabozlai. But everyone's raving like Sabozla is the new Steven Gerrard or something. We needed habits because we, we lost um Jacko, we need someone that's going to win duels, strong, big, tall boy, runs about the pitch good. And we, we need someone at the back post. You've just said it. You've just mentioned how great Saka is at the post. If you've got a six-foot-three giant of a man who knows how to score a goal here and there, at the back post, you are going to score late, late, late goals like this. When he came in against Chelsea, he had the same effect that he had on without scoring. And we're getting these draws. We're getting nicking these points. And we're definitely in a title race. We do need a striker because I'm not the mm. biggest fan of Inketia. But yeah. we're, we're, here, we're here to stay. Yeah, you know what, as well, Victor, just before you go, I think you made a great point. Uh, I have Saliba. I'm sure many people have got him in, his, in their fancy Premier League team. Ramsdale came in today. Arsenal keeping clean sheets. That's a massive thing to, if you're going to grind definitely. out results like today. Definitely, definitely. And with the clean sheets, a lot of people have been on to Gabriel and to Saliba. And Zinchenko has been poor defensively in the last... In the last Few, few, few months, but when he's coming today, he was absolutely fantastic with goal line clearance. We've got Tommy Effie, and what the main thing is, we've actually got defenders. We've got defenders back, back six, seven years ago. I didn't, I didn't want to watch Arsenal because all our defenders were shockingly poor. So now we've got defenders who actually don't mind defending, who don't mind going on the half turn, defending one on one. Zinchenko's not the strongest, but he's played very well, and we always give him a chance. That's Arsenal. Thank you for your time today, Mark. No worries, Victor. Thank you very much. Great call. Um, kept a clean sheet with Aaron Ramsdale in goal today as well. Uh, maybe he was a little bit shaky, but the team played together, cleared it off the line a couple of times. Um, Arsenal don't concede many goals, and that's always going to give you a give you a chance late in games like it did today. Uh, Aaron's an Arsenal fan. I don't think it's Aaron Ramsdale. Uh, what was your thoughts on your game today? Um, well, I, I'm I'm not exactly an Arsenal a skeptic, but I think there's something he needs to change, which is that he's not making enough substitutions. If you think about some of the games where we've, we've won amazingly, we thought Bournemouth last season, Reese Nelson came and changed the game against mm -hmm. Man City. You had four substitutes involved in the goal. And today you're thinking it's flat. There isn't creativity. There's no, there's no um, dynamicness to the game. And we only bring on two people. I mean, had it scored, which is great. But isn't that example of making a change bring people on, making tactical changes with that. And everything else just felt really flat throughout the game. And it, it did look like scoring. 
it did feel, Aaron, like a game that that was going to be post international uh, group, uh, post international break, maybe a missed opportunity. Uh, he brought Enketia on with 66 minutes, and then you're right, Habert 79. There were two further subs, but they were way into stoppage time. Is this something that's quite a regular? I mean, I don't watch Arsenal week in week out, and Pep Guardiola didn't make any subs today. I don't think so. Is maybe he's learnt it from Pep? But uh, yeah, I, I get what you mean. You're chasing a, a game to go top of the league. Um, is this a theme with Arteta? Is is is, is, it, is it usual that he doesn't make subs, or or is it just unique of this season? I feel I feel like it is. I feel like previous games I've been screaming, make a change. Um, maybe it's because I'm I'm used to uh, previous managers like Wenger and Emery who were very much into changes at, at certain points earlier in the second half. But I just feel like when you're in a position where you're you're trying to break a team down, you're not doing it successfully. Bring on Nelson, inject some pace into the team, do something different that they're not going to expect. And, you know, we did that with Havertz. It worked out well. I just don't see why we're not doing it more. You can't Thanks very a, much. Sorry, you can't win a league without using your bench. Aaron, sorry, I did cut you up there. Thank you very much for calling in. Um, look, I'm not an Arsenal fan. Maybe he's hit on something there. Maybe he hasn't. I, the way I look at it, I think that's a fantastic result from Arsenal today. Brentford's a very difficult place to go. Arteta's got more wins than any other Arsenal manager in 200 games. I think he's doing a fantastic job. I don't think there's any confusion around Ramsdale. I think he's replaced Ramsdale, and I think some people aren't happy with that, but it's very clear there's no confusion. Uh, Raya is his number one. Um, a lot of what he's got done is it has been superb. They're in a title race for the second year in a row. Arsenal fans would have bitten your hands off for that three years ago. So, look, I, I think Arteta is doing a great job. And, and, and as I said, Pep Guardiola doesn't make subs either. And look, at they've just won the treble. 